All right, let's <laughs> talk about the weather because it is going to start out a little cool and it's actually going to stay cooler today. Now, compared to yesterday, look how pretty this shot is. This is my favorite shot of the morning. The Bay Bridge shot, you can see the span there all lit up beautifully. The cars, though, struggling to get by, but Mike will have a traffic report on that in a second. Now, right now, we are in the 50s. We've got some of those areas of fog, especially up through the North Bay. And I do want to talk about your forecast at highs for this afternoon because it's really going to depend, going to depend on where you're going to be headed on whether or not you're going to get that sunshine. If you're going to be around San Francisco, Half Moon Bay, Palo Alto, a lot slower to clear. But if you're going to drive a couple miles down to the South Bay, you should be good. In San Jose, we're going to be in the 70s. Daytime highs in Morgan Hill, 78. And if you want it a little bit warmer, you want to drive further inland to Concord, about 80 degrees. Now, let's talk about that draw monitor because this does get updated every single Thursday. And I'm sure you already know, but we haven't seen any significant rain. So where do we currently stand as of this morning 41% of California remains in an extreme drought there has been no improvement no real changes for the past several weeks 100% of the state of California remains abnormally dry so how has the drought sort of been you know getting worse over the past couple of years let's take a look at the drought by the numbers and of course you can always check out this info as well on our climate and crisis tab at NBC Bay Area but just a little history timeline mega drought year from 850 to 1090 240 years there was a mega drought span then from you know 1140 to 1320 it was 100 and 